It's Sunday night. It's hot as hell. I'm in my full lawyer getup with a new tie. I'm not wearing any pants. And I forgot to chat set the settings. Reset the settings on my chat option. We're doing awesomely so far to start things off with. Greetings, everyone. It's another Saturday night with Castin Castantino. Everything going to shit. And tonight we start. I don't know. Are we? I don't remember for finishing this little story off, but we're going to be going up against. Biggest sleazeball son of Mitchell because he's got that stupid grin. Well, his dead eyes. I fucking hate that. I fucking hate people that do that. Oh, god damn. So let's get to the gameplay. Uh, continue. Day three, the trial. Load the save data. Of course I want to load the save data, you jack and apes. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number one. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this ace gets decided today. Uh, Phoenix, look. Hello, Edgeworth. Have you come to pay your respects? Of course you have. I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's Office today, yesterday. I was told that whatever White says today, it will be the absolute truth. Already, we're starting off on the right foot, aren't we, Edgy? Yeah. Oh, man. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it in good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does White have on the judge and have the judge in his pocket, too? So you're, so you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. Oh, I forgot I gave Edgy a uh, English accent. Even, even though I noticed. Well, do do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? <laughs> How can you torment an innocent person like this? Uh, maybe he's one of these people that's into it. Innocent. How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. Uh, there's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? I don't expect any don't expect any special treatment to Phoenix Wright. Well, court will be starting soon. What what wait? Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not I'll be defending myself. What I can't stop doing that! Okay, let's do this. You know, at least she doesn't give me some dirty, like, disappointing look. Like, every blasted time her sister looked at me, she gave me this, either the crazy wide eyes or the freaking... Ugh. Order's now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. This is day one, right? I get three days, right? Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Yeah, fans is ready. Be your honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. 
Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, they will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crimes. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anything is one's going to raise an objection, others is going to I suppose it's me, right? Hmm. 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 Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss My Maya Fay? Yeah. Oh, look at your little smug ass. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White, it is a busy man, and besides, at the time I thought that Ms. May's opinion was all that would be needed. Kiss my ass, you smug son of a... Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. <laughs> Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. You're not going to choke too hard on that, are you? Oh. Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. God damn, that is a face of a man you wanna punch in the mouth. Please state your full name. You wish to know. Oh, the title of my personage. Oh my god. Your name? Yes, yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Oh my god. I said the last one, but Jesus Christ. <coughs> what a prick. What an absolute prick. Name! Oh, thank God, Edgy's not going to be a <laughs> like just. <sighs> These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am CEO, or to use a more common term, President of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim is Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. God damn, I wish I knew which Hannah Bombayer. It wasn't Garfield. It wasn't Garfield. Someone from Han it was this Hannah Bombayer. You were the at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. <laughs> well, I tell you what you already know. I very well, Mr. White, you may begin your testimony, and if I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm just the last man standing? Because this is only your second flipping trial. Oh, and every time I get you into a position, you screw it up. Damn it, you're messing it up for both of us, Phoenix. Oh, -ho -ho. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, wow! That wasn't a threat or not. Nothing. Let him have it, Phoenix. Wow! Witness account. Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quite, quite quietly perusifying or that's reading to you, some papers by the window. And then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Warrior. Wow. Wow, all kinds of things that 
could probably get called it out on. I called Miss Fay over at once. Miss May. May. She too was flabbergasted. <laughs> yeah, that that's what she was about that. Yeah, sure. Oops. The victim. She she ran away, but you gave chase. <sighs> Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occur as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. And I'm afraid you're bald. What's your point? Wait a minute, wait. Uh, did that come out right? No, that can't. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll put a line down the middle of your head. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Yeah, your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Examining this dickhead. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. It was quietly crude. Uh, yeah. Very good. Surprise of time to look for them. Detailed about that. I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende. I understand. God damn. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. He gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely. I forget. Absolutely. <coughs> Change your sex. In detail. Excuse me. Victim ran to the left. F as you gave chase. Um. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What victim dodged an attack, then ran right. Yeah. Yeah. Wait right there. <laughs> Kiss my ass, <laughs> White. Mr. White. You've dug your own grave. What is this? He said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Ms. May's testimony. The victim stated that the vic she stated that the victim ran right. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, crap! My one drink's done. Oh no, I mustn't use more caffeine. Caffeine, caffeine. That's what I need. Ugh. Because I'm already not crazy enough. Yeah, shit. Oh, damn it. I thought it shut him up. Yeah, must have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. The victim was here. If the victim ran left as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Ugh. And that's how you age about 70 years right there. Very strange. I did see you run to the left. I did. Ah, oh, I bet you did. Oh, yes. <coughs> Look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he did, really did see the victim run left. So did he did witness the killing. Wait a second, Mr. White. Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left.
He explains this contradiction to the court. Yeah. Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. Ha! I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that explains their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. <coughs> what do you mean? Like yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? Slow on the uptake. Slow on the uptake. In the law offices of Fay and Company, of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where White was standing. Right here. Right here. This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran from the door, or if he was watching from his point to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes or ill taste. That is where the killer is standing. Give Mr. Obvious a Tootsie Roll. Order, I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order in this courtroom uh, will be held in contempt. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Wright, what are you, are you suggesting? Scallion. Objection. The postulations of the defense are this distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far fetched. I just shoot it to you on the damn map, you little bald headed bastard. Let me shave some of those pubes you call beard. You'll be able to perceive better. Oh, you find us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. Fuck off. What? Now he's... What's not? Oh, he's laughing. The hilarity of the moment makes me remember something. It appears I have been unclear for this. I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Kiss my ass. Frickin' Uncle Fester. Very well. Well, let's hear your revised testimony. Uh huh. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. She ran to the left. This May's testimony is correct, as was mine. As you assaulted the girl, well, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. That's what I saw. Next, with the last of her. Chased her and delivered the final blow. What? That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Miss Lawyer? A from a blow. Hmm. Oh, kiss my ass. <laughs> you bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. You assault. Oh. 
buggy me first. She pick up that moon phrase. Okay, it says I only hit a Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna leave this on the screen for a little bit. Because this guy is such a prick. I wanna enjoy this. Okay, I'm done. What do you have to say to that? Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. <laughs> just, just like Mia. Mia. Oh, fuck. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Thank God. Your Honor. If you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. Shut up! 
I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. Witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Very well. Witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this, Miss Now White. <coughs> Mr. White. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Two accounts. Well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Out the other window. What? The next moment I saw Ms. Mie, Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran to the door. Then you did hit her in with a single blow. Whap. Wow! Wow! Hmm, th shut up! Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Whap you. Do you honor my stomach, you see? It is hurting. Kiss my ass. Get some... Freaking Pepto Bismol, it's the same color as your shirt. See? See this? This? This is a jacket. I don't know what the fuck you got, White. Look like you should be in the frick. Look like you should would be a big hit at the Blue Oyster. Well, you see, it looks. Heard that thing fall. Hold it. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Uh, oh, oh, that. Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Then change your testimony and reflect that. Sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Lying on the floor, that's what the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us that this before? Why? Me? Well, because I was instructed not to... Wait. One moment. Give me a moment to gather my thoughts. I'm so, so confused. Why it's falling apart. Your Honor. Please, I'd like to ask that we do not allow this witness to be badgered any further. Honey Badgers don't care. Mr. Wright? Please refrain from badgering the. And. Yes, Your Honor. Worth is on the ropes. Very well, the witness will continue his account. In the next moment, I saw Miss Mia, Mia run to the left. The killer, you attacked, but she dodged. She turned and ran to the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Whack. Yeah, and then... Okay. Alright. Uh, let's present something here. Four plans. Let's look at this. You couldn't have seen it. Okay. Present. Mr. White. It was simple for you to have seen the glass stand. Wait a minute. Impossible. What? Why do they do that? Why do I do that?
Look at this. Look at this, Stan. <laughs> Frick. Ow. Stupid glasses. These are the floor plans for the scene of the murder, yes? Elmas did the murder thing. Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is where you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Uh, 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 ridiculosity. If you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you couldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So when you did see the stand, Miss White, you must have been in the moment that it fell. It was. The only place you could have been seen that from is the inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were in at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Yeah! What the frick? Mr. White? Mr. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Ms. Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get your verdict. That's far enough, Ms. Phoenix Wright. <sighs> Forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White, I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, uh, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap. The wiretap! Order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is CEO of Blue Court. He orders his secretary, Ms. April May, to tap the law offices in Ms. Bay. What does, what does that have to do? Your Honor. The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White. In order to place the wiretap in Ms. Faye's office. Am I correct? Correct, you are. Correct, you are correct, Mr. Miles. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Bay and Company law office. That is when I saw the cursed night nightstand. Uh, I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all, all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix White has bleh, made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the night stand at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would like to you to believe that Mr. White... Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm getting confused. What was right and white? Was the murderer. I see. Yeah. However, it is, in, it is a fact that Mr. White has been in that office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand, the glass stand, Jesus Christ, and then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the basis conjecture it is.
Yeah, yeah, he did. Probably did. Probably did. You will testify to the court about this wiretap. Ahem, leave it to me. I feel faint. Yeah, we all do. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the main company law offices. Of course I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass nightstand. Hmm. So you saw the light stand before the night of the incident. This is how you were able to identify me what had fallen over by the sound. Correct. That is right. No, I'm right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross examine. Now cross me. Good luck, Phoenix. Thanks. I was in. It was in the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I entered the Fane Company law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Nothing for me to press me. Why did you tap me as phone? That has no be- he, he said it again. It has no bearing on the current case. Fuck you, Edgeworth. The Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Hmm. Pressure of the clients you get. When I saw this glass, that's when I saw the glass stand. Oh, okay, okay. Light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression. Such a beautious thing deserves our attention, does it not? That is all. Proof? Objection. It's April May near the details of Miss Faith's phone conversation. This proves the wiretap was placed before the murder. Right. Shit. You just press everything. 
Was it really you who went into the office, or was it Ms. May? Unidentified fingerprints are several days old were found. And obviously, Mr. White's. Oh, obviously. Uh, uh, how about you show me those tests? That's the asshole. As if I know. If I know. He's already run a check on those prints. That's why. Tell us why you went into the... Well, it's not done so that this wiretap... Oh yeah, I already did that, didn't I? Back. Where'd you go, Mr. Wright? Time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. Kiss my ass. Kiss my pantsless ass. No, this thing's freaking screwed up. Are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. I know that voice! Mia? Booba! What? What? Wait, what? Wait. Where, where am I? The waiting lobby. What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. And, what? She's not dead! Yes! We can still get the date! Uh, what are those visitations? Can I get some of those visitations? Check. That's no way to greet an old friend. Oh, oh. You look good. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a trap. It's a trap. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Didn't you? you know the Fae women have a strong psych have strong psychic powers? Ah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sorry. No. No. Mm -mm. Not gonna get me. You accepted your defeat in court. It appears that it was enough to shock a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. question why didn't you ever look at me like this during the last court thing why the, the whole time I kept getting dirty glares and everything it, it was because I accidentally said you were the one. okay I didn't accidentally I only I wanted to see what happened but I um, unintentionally unintentionally uh, may have said that you were the one defendant that's the whole reason for that right it what now you're messing with me with this whole Mia's, Maya's only, wait a minute, which one are you? Maya's channeling you, Mia. That's right, I'm Maya, but I'm also Mia.
so many questions. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Oh, she's getting me that look again. Maya never gave up. Uh, you can't either. <laughs> That's what I came here to tell you. I hope so, because, you know, Mia's 17 and... Uh... But, but we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won, huh? You have that receding court record, right? Um, oh, yeah. One you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. Yeah, because, you know, Phoenix is a dumbass. The front? Phoenix is a dumbass. Okay, confirmed. It's a regular receipt. Beaks is a dumbass. One thousand, wow, big spender. <laughs> I don't blast light stand. You spend a thousand dollars on a light stand. What the hell was a thousand dollars on a damn glass light stand? I'm going to guess you got scammed on that one. Um, oh, okay. One second here. One second. We're going to check something out here. Actually, I'm um, going to take a little bit of a break. Be right back.
No! No! I'm looking this up. No, she got screwed. What, was there like gold filigree in that thing? I think that I'm looking at these things. The most expensive one's like 200 some dollars. No, she got screwed. Thank God, what, what the hell place did she buy this thing at? Oh, well, no, that's too, now that's still cheaper. I want to see a thousand dollar crystal. I want to see a thousand dollar. Let's see. Dollar. Like, okay, now that's twenty. She could have gotten a nice looking one for like twenty seven dollars. It says she went and like spent and. And a thousand dollars on a glass nightstand, a glass light stand. What the freaking hell? God damn! Maybe a good thing I didn't end up getting Phoenix and get involved with that. Jesus Christ! What an expensive day. Jeez. Like he has enough problems. Anyway. Um. They have purchased September 4th. September 4th? That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Whoa! I had to do the whoa. I can't do the whoa as good as, like, certain people. No, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're in innocent now, you just have to prove it. Right. I'm right. Receipt updating the. Yeah. Receipt updated. Flip! Muck. District courtroom number one. Who's Hammer? Court will now reconvene after Mr. White had a freaking mental breakdown. Is the defendant rather? Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Let's start where we left off. Oh yeah, tick, 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 yeah, I mean, go on, go on that. There is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is you to pass judgment on the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Well, it's not like you got in love, uh, Mr. Edge, is it? Edge, Mr. Edgeworth has noted the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let's give, let us give Mr. Wright this last chance. Very well. Uh, sucker! You may continue cross-examination. Wiretapping. Alright, let's do this. The week before the murder. <laughs> uh, Look close. Did you forget to flip it over? You dumbass. See the word Maya written not in blood? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> you're gra you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side. There is receipt. Because I was too big with dunce not to do that myself. But that's not the point. The other. No one seriously looked at the other side of this receipt. <sighs> Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of the purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder! <gasps> I felt left out. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fay and Company Law Offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not. In there. Oh my lord! Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible achievable. What a dick! I want to freaking punch him so bad now! Uh oh, he's losing it. I understand that. Phoenix. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of. Not so fast, Mr. Wright. Phoenix Wright. Whatever. No way he can be run his way out of this one. No way. I forgot. It's edgy. There's a certain thread of logic to defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof of Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo... I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need to make one more inquiry about, into this matter. Mm -hmm. Another inquiry. This is going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is so bad. His guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. Anyone's going to call Mr. White to trial it would be me, the prosecution. I need one more a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. Ah, kiss my ass. You know what? Kiss my entire freaking ass. Jerk off. The completion of the trial, Phoenix Wright, will be postponed until tomorrow. Oh, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this. Now, Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. After Mia showed up to help me and all. Oh, God, fucking damn piece of shithead. Fuck one. Your, see your honor. May I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. God. Witness will stay. Mia? Phoenix. Read this note out loud. And yeah, what's this? Where'd you get this? Um, a list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Anybody want to take some guesses on where she pulled it out of? I don't think Maya has any... Uh, uh, uh. 
I don't want to hear any of the FBI. Never mind. <laughs> Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. Uh, Mia's memo. Okay, let's go. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. She she had an an enemies list. Me, where they came out of her black book. Am I on that list? Wait a minute, she's dead. What the hell do I get? Does it matter now? And no, no, Maya's 17. So, the, no, the, no, 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 Mia's not going to get me in that trap. Many of them sound strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! Please, stop! Make him stop! How, how did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now, or else this will be released to the press. I, I confess, I confess, I did it. I hit her. I hit Ms. Ma Mia with the thinker. Dun dun. He's closed, Your Honor. <laughs> you got you got white with his head down. You got edgy looking angry, and then you got Phoenix rumbling in the back of his head with a stupid sheepish grin on his face. Jesus. <laughs> well, I see no reason to continue this trial, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. This that was I did it again. Quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Can nobody see her? Nobody, nobody sees the a little flat-chested seventeen-year-old that somehow turned into the big voluptuous. 27 year old? Really? I suppose that's a good thing. That's better. Yeah, that's better off. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense, and <clears throat> rather the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright, not guilty! That is all. Court is adjourned. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and my Aya on my side. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. You were still locked to help me and Maya. I won't forget it. Get it as long as I live. Powers are still weak. I can't stay here after that, after that long. What? No, there's still so much to say. Like, are we ever going to have that first date? Are we ever going to get that first date? How about dinner? Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Like, tonight, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She, Mia's. Ugh, so confusing. 
okay. When's Mia's birthday? Like, when she's 18, is, is it okay? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight, say 9 o'clock? The office. I'll see you later. Mia. Uh, it's a setup. Japan at 16. 17 is late. Only consent age in most places, right? I'm not taking that risk. No. 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 Consent's one thing. That's... <laughs> Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I can. Uh, quick... Quick draw McGraw, that's what they call Phoenix Riot. I'm pretty hungry, how about... Oh. <laughs> you should see your face. Mia? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. What, did I just look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm. I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix. Go to the store and would you buy me lunch, would you? Uh, why are you... Why are you here? Because of this. See? Mia yeah, wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. He has a little hopeless adult. Take care of huh? She needs the office, this office. Someone has to help with new writing company law offices, right? Yeah, you're yeah, for starters, we're gonna be budgeting on crap we buys, particularly lamps, because Jesus Christ, you're you're uh, well no, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not going to end up buying a thousand dollar glass lamp, are you? You better not. Who better than me? My favor, reporting for duty. Wait, no. Second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. My f Hey, I hear ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? That's a great name. Mia said was what your friend Larry calls you, Nick. You know what this means. We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it's Maya's fault. It is Maya's fault. I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in company law offices. It's got a nice ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Phoenix. Phoenix is just shocked he's actually being touched by a ghost girl. <laughs> oh, he's weird watching you. <laughs> Even in the bathroom? <laughs> Alright, okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Oh, what'd you send me? Try to knock off her, but your dick is too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my freaking god. Burgers, dummy, burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, it's times are wasting. Okay, wait up. The end! So I have avenged Mia. What the F? 
Whoa, what the hell? What the hell is that in the top right corner?